also then important to understand uh, all these things appear and also to. Uh, so you, you talk about, you, know, you have this very interesting framing between uh, representation and sharing. And I think what, what we also see through the, and through the, the, the evidence that you just showed, because there is an effort to create this content in ways that uh, uh, essentially identify opportunities to produce missing content. And then you're showing that only this is now exists, uh, does it now exist, it's on the map, it's on Wikipedia, and so on, and it's being read. It's, it's leading new people to Wikipedia because it now exists and people can now find it, which is a remarkable achievement. Yeah, I think that this is a very important point, uh, that uh, the content that is being read, uh, it's because it gets positioned in Google, and so it creates some sort of uh, positive uh, cycle, positive feedback. You create content that is being read, that it's the center of your culture and the center of your uh, the informational needs of people living there, then they consult it and they may become uh, editors. So it's it's some sort of something to stimulate because not and trying to, to break this this um, idea that that some local content is 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 not valuable because it is. And, uh, it's something that uh, in in some uh, Western countries it, it's never happened or it hardly happens. But I've seen that a lot in, the, in some other uh, um, Wikipedians uh, from African countries, Asian countries, that they say this tradition, this, this place, it doesn't deserve. No. If it's uh, created, it's going to be read because that's what the, what the, the analysis show that it's the center of activity. So please convince of that, get convinced of creating local content. So, Mark, your previous slide, is, does that show? The geo the geolocation slide is that is that the geo um, location details of where the content is created or the articles are about places in that I didn't yeah, the articles are about places uh, the articles are about those places yeah, there are twenty three thousand articles uh, in Arabic Wikipedia on Arabic uh, cultural context. The Arabic territories, the Muslim territories, and uh, and I took out all the other uh, geolocated articles. Uh, what we see here is that, for instance, Sudan, there are important gaps. Uh, no. Usually, the, this map um, should resemble very well the map of population, uh, because where there is population, usually there are uh, monuments, uh, people, um, associations. Etc. So the heart of uh, cultural context content, and, um, and we see that Morocco is is, is very well developed, but uh, there are other countries that, this desert aside, the, they need some work. I want to ask uh, for for you <laughs> because I I show you so many slides and so many things. I, I, want to. I I'm going to post it. Uh, um, on Meta, I mean, on, on the uh, on the page of, of the talk, so you can consult it uh, more relaxedly. <laughs> and uh, whenever you you consider, uh, I'm uh, open to to have a conversation and, and to examine the data and, and give further explanation. I want to footnote what you said about Morocco being well covered. As as we've just learned, it's it's been an ingestion of uh, geographical uh, data, and that contributes to the quantity here, but it could actually be the case that it's less well covered in many of the other categories. Yeah. Culture, history, etc. So it's well covered geographically now. I'm not sure we can say it's well covered uh, you know, in a broader sense. Yes, and I just want to give a positive uh, <laughs> view on, on the situation. Uh, because um, we see that geographically is very yeah. spread uh, and at the same time the, the percentage of Morocco cultural context inside the Arabic is very, very large, 20%, right. which is not reflecting the population. Uh, I guess, in other words, if you were to draw this graph based on readership, I think Morocco would shrink considerably. Yeah. <laughs> so in terms of the core content, it may be less well covered, just because it has data about all the settlements, all the, you know, uh, it's, it's not necessarily uh, the best coverage in terms of uh, reader interest. Yeah, I, I can always add more graph, but yeah. uh, it would be sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if there, yes. data is fascinating. There are always different sites, and I, I try to explain the story, and I give you, uh, um, or 
I try to give you the mission of uh, representing and spreading and much is, more. Is readership data like that available? Sure. Yes, by, by, side, by country. Side by side? Yes. Because that's, that's a very interesting analysis, right? Mm -hmm. That would be good to see. So one is on the basis of content being created about some place, but then also looking next to where readership, uh, comparing that to where the readership statistics <coughs> Uh, actually, I, I have some of these data there, so I put, uh, I don't know what time it take me, maybe a day. Uh, it would be interesting to, to, to make this contrast uh, of, uh, um, this is the proportion of, uh, in terms of number of articles, the percentage, uh, in the Arabic CCC, and then see, compare this to the then proportion of page views that each CCC gets. It would be interesting to, to look at, yeah. One quick, uh, quick question. I'm just wondering if uh, you worked on uh, featured CCC articles. I mean, would you try to understand if uh, there is a high percentage of featured articles related to that specific uh, culture or probably having a featured article just for that thing or something like that? Do you, uh, you have some statistics about that? Only for featured articles. Not as this or is directly, but um, okay, we you are creating this, this top CC, and here uh, there are just few, now there are many more. Um, one of them uh, is the feature articles, so yeah, that's the intersection between CC and the list of feature articles, listed by, by number of bytes. So, so you get also a, a valuable list. Another list that is not here in this slide is the list of uh, CCC by, uh, by WikiRank. There is this project on, uh, on article quality called WikiRank. Uh, they take different uh, quality indicators and they make one index. And, and so you can see if an article is very, very relevant or not. So I also uh, made the intersection between CCC and WikiRank, and it's also a valuable uh, list. Um, I didn't want to, to create a single list with the aim of being the very best. I think that it's good to give different insights and, and let people yeah. play around because because it's fun. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much. Thank you.